Are we capable now to do uh, a robot that is self-aware? There, that's that's one the legged one. I need, uh, it's it's no, self-aware. Like it's not you, self-aware. It's been listening, but it's not, it's not self-aware currently. But do you think a human being is self-aware? Or well, that's a good question. I mean, I ask this question all the time. When the robots move, there's a sense of when they turn on, something entered that robot. Wow. And when it turns off, something left. <laughs> Uh, if they move in a certain kind of way, and if they're if they surprise you, there's certain elements that enable us to see the magic in in a living being. And some of them, I mean, we can care we, we can maybe list them, but it's the ability to surprise you. It's the ability to make mistakes and learn from them visibly. There's a bunch of things that you just I don't know. It just feels like it has the magic of what is a living being and which is what humans have. And I, I try to think about how do you replicate that into a, a machine. So, so when you turn it on enough, it, you feel like it, it dies every time and it, it, re, it reborn, right? So for most machines, we don't feel that way. We don't, when we unplug things, we don't feel that way. I don't know why we don't feel that way. That's an interesting question. But I think when, when the robot has certain qualities, like memory, like ability to recognize you, yeah, you start to feel like you're turning off an organism. So so whenever I have like the robots that recognize me and remember, this is important, that all the things we've experienced together, then it's like, holy shit, <laughs> that's, a, that's a living thing. But does he it, remember? It feels, it feels like a living thing. Does he remember your robot? Does he remember things that happened before you unplugged in? Is it like he's sleeping? Like is, is he wake up or is he like dead? No, so or right now it start to zero every. Uh, no, it doesn't start at zero. Remember, it remembers everything. That's the key. Every time you like you you yeah. unplug. Yeah. Wow, it's storing the right. storing the memory. But the memories are basic. They're like, okay, we walked around the kitchen and then um, you looked at me. I mean, the memories. It's like data. It's just. It's not like we've experienced. It's able to actually. Uh, experience anything deep like we humans can, but just the fact of memory. It's like the toaster or the microwave don't don't give a shit about me. They don't know me, they don't know me by name. They wouldn't recognize my face as being different from Gordon's. They wouldn't know the difference. And they wouldn't remember, the microwave currently doesn't remember, you know, the times I've been sad or happy, like what food I put into it. It doesn't remember this when I was being a fat ass or when I was being in good shape and all, all, just those memories are enough to make you feel when you turn a thing off, that's like, shit, wow. that's, a living, that's, that, that, that's a living thing disappearing. Of course, that's kind of an anthropomorphism we do to each other, but uh, that's something, <laughs> it's, you know, that, that's some, that makes me believe it's possible to create um, systems with which we can have a connection that are non-human, like similar to dogs and cats and so on, it just makes me, feel, and that's what's interesting to me because ultimately I feel like that'll help us understand um, ourselves. 